Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is AJ Rumsa with another edition of Beyond the Arc. And my special guest this week is the man who runs the show for the Simeon Wolverines, Jalen Tate. What made you transfer from De La Salle to Simeon last year? You know, it's a great background of history here at Simeon as far as basketball. Um, you know, great coaching, great players. Uh, it's a great program. You know, I've gotten much better as a player and as a young man coming in. And academically, it's, it's a great school, too. You were the man in De La Salle, and you came to Simeon and, and came off the bench. Was that a big adjustment for you? Yeah, it was a real big adjustment, you know. But, you know, I had to sacrifice my game in order to uh, become a winner. You know, that's the main thing in Simeon. Everybody wants to be a winner. But here at Simeon, you know, Coach Rob, he's on me every day, whether I'm doing something good or not. You know, uh, discipline here is, is fantastic, and I've learned a lot from these coaches. Do you think that you gained a lot more recognition from scouts from across the country because of that commitment you made to Simeon? Most definitely. Um, Simeon is a high power major school as far as basketball, not just the state of Illinois, but across the country as well. And, uh, you know, when I made the transition, there was a lot of publicity about it, you know, and everybody was waiting to see, you know, what was I going to do to see if I was going to fail, you know, if I was going to get better. And, you know, I've just been in the gym working every day, uh, you know, just not to prove people wrong, but to prove myself right, you know, that I made the right decision. What it made Illinois stick out the most through all the colleges that you had offers from? Uh, the main thing was it's the hometown hometown school. Uh, you know, it's easier for my family to come down and support me. That's the main thing. Rebound, put back, Jalen Tate. Also, you know, having Kidra go there with me, uh, a teammate and a good friend, makes the transition even easier. And I uh, just, it's a, it's a real good school academically and a great foundation as a program basketball-wise. Coach Gross is a, a real good coach and his coaching staff. There's a lot of good players there as well. Obviously, you guys got an easy win tonight. It was 93 to 32. Um, but when your second string guys came in, I saw you stand up every time a good play was there. You know, you had your other teammates cheering. Is that something that you just pride yourself on, or does it just come naturally? Uh, it comes naturally, both. You know, even when I'm not in the game, you know, I want to motivate my teammates and, uh, you know, still talk to them off the court. You know, I just want to be a good teammate. Who or what gives you motivation to do what you do? Uh, my mom. You know, she's a, a big influence in my life. You know, when I was younger, she used to work two jobs. And growing up, you know, that made me work even harder and uh, made me want to get to the level that I'm at now. Uh, you know, as far as basketball, you know, that, this was my ticket to school. You know, so when I get to school, I'm going to take the basketball as far as I can. But, you know, just having that education, you know, be able to open up doors for, for me and my family is, the, is my main goal. And, and obviously, you know, the same as you, my mother was the one who motivated me. But do you think that, you know, having her on your side and, and having her pretty much in your heart every single time you step on the court, do you think that can take you, you know, beyond college and into the NBA? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, she's on me every single day. Uh, I can go out and have 35 points. She'll be like, you know, why didn't you have 36? Or why didn't you get a steal or something? You know, she pushes me every day. You know, I think she pushes me the most out of everybody. So, you know, uh, I just take that into consideration every time I step on the court. Simeon has three state championships in a row. Do you feel a lot of pressure trying to win that fourth state championship? You know, not really pressure. You know, uh, we really take the pressure as like a challenge. You know, Jabari, me, Jabari, Kendra, Kendall. You know, us being the, the, the uh, captains of the team and uh, the seniors, you know, coming back from last year, we knew like, uh, you know, we're not done yet. You know, after we want to stay last year, we know we had one more to go. And uh, the best feeling is coming out as a senior when you're winning the state championship for your last year. And, uh, you know, Coach Rob always teasing me like, you know, my last point guards, they won as a senior. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this and uh, we're just working hard every day. Score the baskets, it's good for Jalen. Thanks for watching another edition of Beyond the Arc. I'm AJ Rumsa, and you guys got the chance to hear from the future Illini and Simeon Wolverines point guard Jalen Tate. I appreciate your time. All right, thanks.